Welcome to another episode of Game Time PA TV. I'm Jeff Kolb. We've got another great slate of games scheduled for this Friday night, so let's check out what our Wiley experts have found out about some of the best area matchups for week three. Hi, this is Daniel down in Hanover, and I'm here to tell you why York Catholic against Fairfield is the game of the week. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking the lone little sound's gonna be better, and it's gonna be a really good one. It's gonna be big in Division Three. I know a lot of you are looking at that West York Spring Girl game. That's gonna be a pretty huge one, too. But let's take a look against Fairfield against York Catholic. Now, I know that Fairfield scored 119 points the first two weeks. Let's see if they uh, are for real. You know, they beat a, a big Laville team that's a little down. They beat Carson Long, which is another down team. Let's see if they can actually compete against Division Three teams. This is Matt Gould in York, and we have a key YAAA versus Lancaster Lebanon League cross, uh, crossover matchup to talk about, and that is Dallas Town at Penn Manor. Both teams are 2-0. Penn Manor coming off of a 28-14 win against Lampeter Strasburg, in which it got two touchdowns and a well all-around performance from Charlie Bell. The Wildcats, meanwhile, defeated West York 35 to nothing last week. And they've only given up six points in their two wins, but they are going on the road for the first time at Millersview University on Friday night. Hi, I'm John Buffone in Lancaster, where this week's spotlighted game is Garden Spot at Conestoga Valley. The undefeated Spartans have outscored their opponents by a total of 75 to 10 so far, whereas the Buckskins have stumbled out of the gates, being outscored by an average of 33 points in their first two games. If the Buckskins don't tighten up the defense and start scoring points, it could be another long night in Conestoga Valley. I'm Lizzie Arbigas at Franklin Fulton. Um, this week, Green Castle is going to host Susquehanna Township and should be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Susquehanna is coming off of a loss, but they were facing off against CD East, which I know is also a, is a very tough game, typically. Um, Green Castle uh, got the first win of the season last uh, week. Pretty convincing win, so they have a lot, of, a lot to build off of, and both are going to look to make some strides before league play starts next week. Hello, this is Mike Gibbler from the Lebanon region of GameTimePA.com. This week's featured game is Lebanon at Elko High School, 7 o'clock on Friday night. Lebanon is coming off a thrilling 40-39 victory over Northern Lebanon, which went to overtime and was won on a Mark Piles touchdown pass and an ensuing Nicholas Negron two-point conversion. Piles threw for six touchdowns in the game, five of which went to Negron. Elko, on the other hand, was the only team in Lebanon County last year that had a winning record, but is currently off to an 0-2 start, losing by a point at Hamburg to start the season, and also losing at Steel High last week. Should be a good one and a high-scoring affair. That's a wrap for this week's episode. Be sure to follow us as always on Twitter at GameTimePASC. Don't be afraid to give us a shout out or an app mention. And as always, we'll see you at the games on Friday night.